Here we have the Milwaukee M18 BPD. That's the ordinary brushed 18 volt M18 drill. Um, this one seems to be burnt out. If you smell here, there's like a terrible burning smell. That means the motor and the brushes are probably just gone. Well, the motor's definitely gone, so we have to change the brushes anyway. And what this entails is to get these screws, there's two, four, six, eight. So with nine screws, and then turn around the other side, there's two on each side here. Then we'll all have to come out. Right, of all the screws slacking now, there's another wee screw in the centre of that there, that wee butt holder. And what you do is, get all the screws as best you can. So the screws coming out now. The ones at the front of the drill too, them there too there. And you will have to slacken these ones on the far side to allow the gearbox to slide forward a wee bit. You can see that with that there. And then see so position this properly. Yeah. And you just lift this up now. This should come straight off. The cover straight off. And there you are now. You know, this entails you have to lift out the whole motor like that here. I suppose you have to get these other two screws. You see that? Just lay that off. That's the motor. Separated from the gearbox. There's your motor. This is the way I've got this. This is the new motor with brush assembly attached. And it should slot straight in. I got this on eBay from a guy in Liverpool. This power tail centre or something you call them is very good. Um, I thought I was just getting the motor. But actually get the motor with the brushes attached as well. I don't know if you can see the number in that. If you just put on the if you just put on the model of the drill and look for the motor assembly, you get it. Uh, so that's a new one. This is the old one. The old one has got brushes there. And what you do is you it's T two T ten screws. You just screw them off. That's the motor off now. And in the box with the motor, two new screws supplied. So what you do is, two new motor, and see the two holes are there. Just line that up. You'll need to go too hard when you're screwing these back on again.
can see that's the two screws reattached to the back of the new motor. There's a forward reverse slider there. I'll have to put that back in. It's falling out there. Goes like this. We should look for that to go into there. So you do that, hopefully. Hmm, I don't know. And you just reattach this motor again. We'll wiggle it just a little bit, just to get it to be bad on there. There it is, it's on there. You know when you that on right, because it'll flush in nicely. Forward reverse later just keeps popping out, so we get it fixed in the morning. Right. Try and line everything up so it slots nicely into place. This um. Magnetic housing on the motor. It's a wee bit of melting there is not helping me. But anyway, we've gone this far. Ah, it's not too bad. It seems to be slotted in nicely. And once you get her slotted in, and hopefully you get your motor housing sitting in nicely, you would turn this drill over and put them two screws on. That'll hold everything in place. To be honest, I'm not content with the way that's sitting, that's sitting sideways. Um, so I'm going to have to fix that. And with a little bit of work, I've got it realigned there. You see there's a little slot in the top. There's another one equally, equal appearance in the bottom. On each size of these housings, there's like a little notch. See my thumb there? For this to slot onto. And you know, everything should be lining up there now. Have the two screws on the far side just to hold it together. Make sure everything's sitting on nicely. Just put the housing back on again. Just click on together then. Um, Holding it back there. No, it's not, not going to slot together properly. Could be anything, could be a little bit of debris in one side of the cousin or anything. No. It's alright. There's definitely a bit of melting's going on there. That might not be helping us.
that's it now. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of force. Let's slot it into position now. The screw should hold it together now. What you do is you put in all the screws again. That's pretty much it put together, so that's that's how you put a new motor into a BPD M18 BPD Milwaukee brush drill in about 10 minutes. And that looks good.